Merhabalar sevgili Scroll TV izleyenleri. Bugün sizlere Firefox'un Türkiye'de düzenlemiş olduğu, daha doğrusu Mozilla'nın Türkiye'de düzenlemiş olduğu basın toplantısından sesleniyorum. Yanımızda Tristan Nito var. Kendisi Mozilla Europe'un CEO'su, başkanı diyebiliriz. Türkiye'ye geldi ve Türkiye'de bir etkinlikte konuşma yaptı. Ardından da basın mensupları ile buluştu. Bugün de bizim sorularımızı yanıtlamayı kabul etti. Kendisine hoş geldin diyelim. Welcome Tristan. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. I want to uh, start my first question. Uh, Mozilla is a non-profit organization. How can you make products uh, that millions of people use? Well, I th we're approaching like half a billion uh, users uh, for Firefox uh, right now. And so we, uh, we're a non-profit organization, but we are sustainable. So we make a product uh, with the help of thousands of volunteers, including uh, people here, Uh, in Turkey who do localization of the product and you make they make the Turkish version and they make also the support they do this as volunteers um, they don't make money and there are people like this all over the world and I was one of them uh, myself uh, several years ago um, and so it means it's cheaper for us and we share the result of our work together and also uh, because we touch so many million users um, it means that it's very interesting for uh, search engines uh, to touch people through us and so we get uh, a little money uh, from them per user which is enough overall to make the organization sustainable uh, you changed your uh, roadmap last year and uh, you are releasing new firefox so often so how was the effect of this move on the consumers Uh, it's, a, it's a very good thing uh, overall because in the past we had a new release every 12 or 18 months. That means that if a developer today, you know, ch updates Firefox and make it, makes it better, faster, uh, more secure, uh, we would have to wait until 12 or 18 months to see this in the hands of the user and it's It's a little sad, so now we're releasing every six weeks. So it means that if uh, uh, the new feature that you develop is uh, faster in the hands of the user, that's one thing. And if you miss the train, if you don't make this release, it's okay because there is another one six weeks after that. So overall, it's a smoother way to produce uh, software, which is well good for the user and also good for the Mozilla community. Uh, how many users do you have in Turkey and what do you think about the Turkish market? So I, I can't say, uh, I don't have the number uh, of users. I, the, the number I have is that 18% of visits to websites are being made with Firefox in Turkey, which is, uh, which is pretty good uh, considering that we are the smallest uh, player in terms of number of employees uh, and we are the only non-profit organization who makes a browser um, but we were the we are the pioneers that made the web open if you if you recall several years ago um, Microsoft had a monopoly um, and we managed to break that monopoly and bring back competition And now there are new competitors coming that came after us uh, that are also uh, providing competition and which is uh, good uh, overall. But there is one thing to remember is that we are the only non-profit organization that makes a browser and all the others, you know, do advertising. Their job is to know more about you, to target you and sell things better to advertisers. Uh, we are on the side of the users. So this is something you need to remember when you choose your browser it's uh is it a good browser and is it going to protect you that's the the key questions you need to ask you have also mobile products you know uh, mobile uh, browser and mobile os can you talk about about uh, your future plans for the mobile product sure so we have actually two uh two products um, firefox uh, for android which is a mo a browser mobile browser for uh, the android uh, smartphones Uh, you can download it today, it's available, and it's right now not available in Turkish just yet, but early next year we plan to have a Turkish version um, localized by volunteers here in Turkey. Um, and so that's a, that's a good, uh, good thing for the Turkish market. The second thing is we are working on a, a future project, so it's not released yet, which is called Firefox OS. 
it is an operating system for smartphones. Um, so you will be able in the future um, to buy phones with uh, Firefox OS installed and use it with uh, you know web applications uh, in it. It's going to be inexpensive. It's going to be a very good phone for a very good price. Um, but right now we're focusing for this product, Firefox OS. We're focusing on Brazil and Latin America, and maybe in the future we will come to Turkey. I hope so. My last question: uh, You have a blog uh, called Stan, Stan Blog. Can you talk about uh, your blog and? Do you want to add something to uh, tell about to our uh, visitors? Um, well, I do have a blog uh, called standblood.org, which uh, is now 10 years old. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's an old blog, but I still keep uh, blogging. I also have an official Mozilla blog, which is called uh, Beyond the Code. So if, if you search for Mozilla Beyond the Code, you will uh, find my official Mozilla blog. Um, and I still enjoy blogging after uh, 10 years. And I think more people, I think it's a very good way blogging to create the web and not just use it. That's what's wonderful with the web is that everybody can produce, experiment, create. Um, and this is what we want to bring uh, to smartphones in the future. It's use, it, exists on, it exists on PCs. You can do whatever you want with a PC. But with mobile phones right now, if you want to do something, you got to get approval from Google or Apple to publish your application. And I don't think it's right. I think we want the values of the web where everyone can experiment. We want this into mobile. And you need to experiment with blogging to understand that. You create the web. That's fantastic. It's not like TV, where TV you need you know, uh, something very big. But with the web, anyone can, prod product, uh, can make a product, can make something, and touch potentially millions of people. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Bir başka videoda görüşmek üzere.